Okay, guys, so we got rid of DirecTV uh, maybe a year or so ago, and we got the old receivers and stuff, and obviously the Big Daddy um, is going to have a hard drive in it. So let's go ahead and take it apart and take a look at it and see if we can score, score ourselves a hard drive. So we have these uh, crappy DirecTV remotes. I hate when they release these remotes. I like the old white ones, the long white ones. Those were the best remotes DirecTV ever had. These ones right here, the mini ones, they're garbage. That came with the Genies. Absolute fucking garbage. We have the power adapter. I don't know if I'm going to need that. I'll throw that away. But um, let me clean this up and we'll get on with it. So here's the Mini Genie receiver. This is the Genie Mini. Um, manufacture date is March 2017. Um, don't have a specific model or anything. Um, so what you have, you have your, your, you have your satellite coax in, you have an AV out, which gives you like a little adapter that where you can get your standard, you know, composite, you know, RCA cables out. You have an HDMI port, you have a USB port. And one thing I do like about these Genie Minis, they have a coax SB diff. So if you want to use your own DAC or whatever, you can hook up your own DAC. That's pretty nice. So it has a coax SB diff. And then it has the spot for the power adapter. So we might take this apart. There's obviously not going to be a hard drive or anything in it. Now, before you throw these out, it's probably a good idea to pull out the access card and, you know, shred the access card. We'll set this aside. We might take this apart later. So here's the main Genie Mini, and it's kind of dirty. So let me wipe that off. That's what happens when these things sit around for a long time. So I'm going to pull out the access card. You have your DirecTV access card. I'm not going to show the other side because that has the access number. But you pull this out, put it down the shredder. Don't let people get access to that because it'll link back to your old DirecTV account. So on the back of it, we have a lot of I.O. I don't know how well you guys can see that. Eh, maybe okay. You have your coax satellite in. AV out, same thing, adapter. And then this, they give you a lot of options here. They give you toss link out, toss link SP diff. And they also give you coax SP diff. So depending on your DAC or receiver, you know, if it has one or the other you they give you both the um, options there so that's pretty nice hdmi out you have an ethernet port you have usb and you have a sata connector i believe that's an e sata connector so if you want to add additional storage then you have your funky ac adapter connector then you have a fan so there might be a fan we could salvage in here and uh direct tv Let's look at the bottom of this. Um, this might have the number on it. So this was February 2017. This is a model HR54-200. This is the Master Genie. So uh, how do we take this apart? I don't know. We're going to find that out. Looks like there's some clips. So it might just be clipped on. I really don't care if I break it. I just want the hard drive out of it. <laughs> Try with a better prior tool, right? You're not really going to break the hard drive. The hard drives are pretty robust in this. Get 
is open. That would be an easy way. I could look up a video how to disassemble this, but I don't really care. I just want I just want to break it open so I can get the hard drive out of it. I think I may have avoided the warranty. <laughs> They really don't want you getting into these. Look at this beauty. We got some nice heat sinks here on the hard drive. Nice heat sink on the actual receiver. I don't think the receiver incurred any damage at all. It was just the enclosure. <laughs> nice. Nice. Let's extract this. I might get oh, we got a nice little tiny little fan that's pinned on there. I might take that out. Beautiful. Nice. So we scored ourselves a Western Digital. Usually I see Seagate in these. Uh these uh, satellite receivers and cable cable boxes, but we've got ourselves a Western Digital, and of course they put a fucking pad on it. We got ourselves a Western Digital. Uh, what's the capacity on it? One terabyte. It's a one terabyte green power. Um, 2016. It's a date code on it. What's the RPMs on it? Does it say? I don't know. I, I figured it'd be a green drive. Let's go ahead and uh, try to get it out of here. Oh, we got a little SATA connector. A little adapter there. Cool. Let's get it out. So there's some screws on the side of this heat sink that hold the hard drive. So I'm going to unscrew these screws on the side here. Easy peasy. Nice little heat sink. That was like taking candy from a baby. So they gave this they gave you this nice heat sink. I might keep that heat sink for something. That was on the side of the hard drive, because obviously it's running twenty over seven, right? But uh, 
Got a SATA adapter. Got a little tiny fan in here. Little Rydeck. Um, I'll, I'll take that out. Uh, but yeah. Now, these hard drives, uh, of course, you're not going to be able to get the data off of them. I believe they use a proprietary file system. Um, so if you plug it into a computer, you're not going to see it. You have to you have to reformat the drive to make it a usable drive. But as far as getting the data off of here, um, it's encrypted. And it's using some proprietary file system. But these drives, they're just regular desktop computer hard drives. So you, they interface via SATA. So you can easily uh, uh, use an enclosure or whatever and um, hook it up to a computer, reformat it, and you have a, a usable one terabyte hard drive. It's pretty cool. It'd be really cool to uh, also pull the smart stats off that drive um, to see like the power on hours and stuff like that. That's, that'd tell you how long this receiver's been on. Um, probably have some decent um, power on time hours on it, you know? Um, but yeah, got some nice heat sinks on the CPU here, the, the system on a chip, and the card reader topology, but there's really nothing else in here I want. Nothing really usable. Um, yeah. But I'll get that fan. I'm going to extract that fan. I want that little fan. Oh, so it's screwed on with little torque screws, security screws. <laughs> we could we could take care of that. So, got my little bit pick uh, set here. We'll find the right uh, torque security screw for it, and we'll get that fan out of here. Bingo. Man, I love Pick Quick. If you guys haven't seen my Pick Quick video, check it out. Solid screwdrivers, solid bits. Torque security eliminated. Look at that. Got a little fan. Let's see if I can get it out of here. Scored myself a little mini fan. Look at that, guys. Look at that little fan. Little Rydeck. It's a GL31-something. Uses... 12 volts, 0 0.04 amps. Look at that little thing. Nice. So I don't think there's anything else of value in this uh, receiver. So it's going in the trash, and we're going to take a look at the hard drive. Okay, so I went and got gloves on because this does have some grease or some thermal compound from the uh, heat sink there. I didn't want to get that all over stuff. So this takes some... This drives on this caddy with some big Phillips screws. We'll take those right off.
There's the hard drive. A Western Digital WD-10 EURX. Green power. One terabyte. Manufacture date is December 16, 2016. There we go. We scored ourselves a hard drive, and we scored ourselves a little fan. Um, I'm going to set these aside in the storage, and we're going to take a look at this little Genie Mini. There's not going to be a hard drive in it, but want to see what's inside of it? Sure. This one's probably going to break apart, too, you know, snapping off. It has this big shield on it, so we're going to take that apart. we got some Phillips screw screws that's holding that on, holding that big can on. It's a big RF can, you know. Nothing I haven't seen before. I take care of it. This is fun. That's really all there is to it. System on chip, tiny little board. Okay, guys, that's going to wrap this video up. Oh, yeah, we also scored a heat sink from the uh, Master Genie. I'm going to go ahead and clean up this mess, and we'll see you in the next one.